Hey guys, press the bell icon and never miss a video from New Tech Entertainment. India is endowed with a long coastline, rich in natural resources and vast stretch of coastal land for farming that provides us opportunity for large exploitation of marine wealth. The export of marine products has steadily grown over the years from a mere rupees 3.92 crore to rupees 30,420.83 crores. Shrimp are highly in demand primarily because it is an integral part of gourmet cuisine and a daily diet across the millions of homes. The prominent shrimp producing countries are China, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Ecuador and India. Shrimp Farming in India The estimated area suitable for undertaking shrimp cultivation in India is around 11.91 lakhs hectare spread over 10 coastal states and union territories. Among the states, the highest shrimp farming production was recorded in Andhra Pradesh. The scientific method of shrimp farming developed over the last two decades has been the mainstay of shrimp farming in India, contributing to the socio-economic growth of the people of coastal region and contributing to foreign exchange for the country. Globally, India is the fourth largest farmed shrimp producer. It is commonly said that time is now for Blue Revolution to exploit the huge potential in aquaculture sector because of high unit value, short duration of crop, quick return on investment, persistent demand and fast expanding world market. MPEDA The Marine Products Export Development Authority under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India is the nodal agency for promotion of export of marine products from India. The MPEDA implements several developmental schemes for export promotion and aquaculture production through its field offices in all maritime states. National Center for Sustainable Aquaculture, NATSA. In order to continue the work initiated by the MPEDA NACA project and to provide the much needed thrust to the extension work in coastal aquaculture development, MPEDA established a National Center for Sustainable Aquaculture, NAXA, in 2007. Recently, NAXA was certified with ISO 9001 2008. NAXA is a society that work together with farmers and the stakeholder in the shrimp sector. NAXA is an outreach organization of MPEDA that aim to service the small-scale aquaculture sector through technical support to the primary aquaculture societies and build capacity among small farmers to produce quality products in a sustainable manner. The chairman MPEDA is the ex-officio president of the NAXA. The organization is headed by a Chief Executive Officer, CEO. NAXA's headquarters is in Kakinada with regional units in various coastal states. Since inception 2007, NAXA outcomes ranged from improved shrimp production, improved shrimp quality, less impact on the environment and better relations among stakeholders in the market chain. In my view, the society formation of small-scale farmers into clusters facilitated the implementation of the BMPs providing benefits to the farmers, environment and society. Aquaculture Societies Promoting Sustainable Practices The demonstration program started in 2002 by MPEDA was successful in organizing small-scale farmers into self-help groups for adoption of better management practices. At present, about 834 aqua societies have been established with the membership of 25 to 80 CAA registered aqua farmers in six coastal states of India. The societies have a clear organization 
and strict conditions for membership managed by elected office bearers. The societies were set up according to model established by MPEDA and has to be registered with the Registrar of Societies and are subject to annual audit by government. Information sharing and close interactive approaches among farmers in shrimp farming cluster enables participating farmers to organize the schedule of farm operations, quality seed procurement, simultaneous stocking, planned water exchange and harvesting regimes contributing to substantial reduction in transmission of disease. Sustainability for small-scale farming practices, the backbone of Indian aquaculture would rest on successful adoption of best management practices by societies. The farmers need the strength that the group offers for socio-economic development. The association to promote optimum utilization of resources and helps farmers get a better price for the crop, the shrimps. With the help of NAKSA and MPEDA, financial assistance, we bought aerators. It is their efforts that society farmers are greatly benefited due to increased awareness through seminars and meetings. If they bring further new technologies to us, it will help us doing better prawn culture. Empowering small farmers preparing for international markets. NAKSA empowers and builds capacity of small-scale aquaculture farmers by assisting in all aspects of shrimp farming for profitable, sustainable and eco-friendly farming. Site Selection Selection and evaluation for a suitable site is a critical activity and must be carefully determined before establishing a shrimp farm. There are several factors to be considered. Good water source, suitable soil type, accessibility, availability of power, availability of labor. Pond preparation. Good pond preparation ensures good pond bottom and water quality for stress-free shrimp farming. Starts with ploughing to expose the black soil, liming to correct pond soil pH. Water culture for healthy bloom ensures good natural food and water quality for the post larvae. Biosecurity requirements. Measures taken to prevent the entry and spread of pathogen into the culture system are crab fencing, bird fencing, water filtration, water treatment, testing the seed before stocking for potential pathogens. Species of choice Shrimp farming in India started with native species like black tiger shrimp and Indian white shrimp. Due to disease problems like WSSB, loose shell and non-availability of SPF brood stock from the year 2001 to 2002 onwards, shrimp farming in India have shifted to culture of exotic white leg shrimp Pinus banami. Due to the potential for fast growth, tolerates a wide range of salinities, requirement of low protein feed, availability of specific pathogen-free brood stock to produce high health larvae. In India, for the first time, researchers at the Rajiv Gandhi Center for Aquaculture, RGCA, in collaboration with researchers from the USA-based Oceanic Institute, an affiliate of Hawaii Pacific University, have developed specific pathogen-free SPF Pinus banami brood stock. NAKSA helps the farmers in seed selection, transportation and acclimatization. Simultaneous stocking at right time are the part of a best management practices to reduce the disease risk. Aeration 
Proper setup of aerators ensures sufficient dissolved oxygen for shrimp and cleans the pond bottom by minimizing the sludge area. Feed and feeding. Naksa team helps the farmers in proper feed management. Programmed feeding in the first month. Demand feeding from second month onwards. Ensures to growth and good feed conversion ratio. Minimizing pond pollution. Water quality management. Regular monitoring of water quality parameters like water pH, salinity, dissolved oxygen, ammonia, nitrite and hydrogen sulphide and managing them in the optimum levels with necessary amendments reduces the stress and makes the shrimp healthy. Remove the sludge periodically for better water quality management. Water exchange. Good feed management and water quality management are the part of Naksa's BMP. Reduce the requirement of water exchange and minimize the pathogen's entry into the system. The coordination and communication among the farmers of cluster reduces the spread of pathogens among farms. Shrimp Health Monitoring Regular monitoring of shrimp health on daily basis using feeding trays and weekly sampling helps the farmers to assess the shrimp health condition. As a part of BMP, farmers has to observe the shrimp color, activity, feeding, antennae, gills, uropods, fouling, muscle clarity, molting, growth, mortality, etc. are used as indicators of shrimp health. It enables the farmers to take necessary action and aids in crisis management. Farm Record Maintenance Record maintaining is compulsory for complying with traceability system. Also, it helps the farmers to judge the performance of different management practices and amendments. The pond daily record consists information on pond preparation details, seed resource, quality and stocking details, treatments given to soil and water, water exchanges, feed type and quantity, water quality parameters, information on health status of shrimps, harvest information, expenditure and income details. Disease, prevention and treatment. Cultured shrimps suffer from various diseases due to infectious and non-infectious causes. Infectious diseases are caused by viruses, bacteria, fungi, and certain parasites. Among all the diseases, viral disease pose major threat to shrimp farming. With good biosecurity, we can reduce the disease incidence. Never try to treat the viral disease. Don't use antibiotics. Prevention is better than cure, but not preventive treatment. Harvesting. Successful harvesting can be achieved if the shrimp can be harvested in good condition within a short period of time. Rapid harvesting will reduce the risk of bacterial contamination and the shrimp will still be fresh when reaching the processor. Coordinate the harvest with other farmers in the farming society. 
make sure the neighboring farmers are informed about the harvest. Check if there are any molted shrimps. Do not feed the shrimps six hours prior to harvesting to keep the gut empty and improve the shelf life of the shrimp. The best time for harvesting is early in the morning. Harvest between six o'clock in the evening and six o'clock in the morning. Complete the harvesting process as quickly as possible. Catch most of the shrimps with dragnet. The shrimp should be regularly removed from the harvesting bag in small quantities to prevent damage. Thoroughly wash the shrimps in clean water and dip the shrimps in slurry of ice for about 15 minutes for chill killing. All the time, make sure good quality ice is used during chill killing and packing. Use equal quantity of shrimp and crushed ice with proper mixing for transportation. Before stacking the packed boxes one above the other, make sure the bottom of the boxes are clean. Shrimps free of antibiotics are harvested and transported quickly in insulated vans to the processing plant. Quality Control Before harvesting or exporting, shrimp should be examined for their health, hygienic quality and safety for consumers. Unhealthy shrimps which are easily recognized through their appearance will not be acceptable to consumers and market value could be reduced. Human pathogenic organisms could contaminate the shrimp during harvesting, storage and processing. Therefore, samples of shrimp should be sent to a reliable laboratory to conduct necessary tests to certify the hygienic quality of the products before exporting or sending them to market. The harvested shrimp should also be checked for antibiotics also. Certified shrimps are in great demand in the international market. This can give an edge to farmers in a highly competitive international market. The way forward. The society formation and organization of small scale farmers into groups facilitated adoption and implementation of BMP. Responsible and successful farmer societies are attractive to the banking and insurance sector to extend credits and crop insurance. Shrimp aquaculture has provided tremendous opportunity for economic and social upliftment of rural communities in the coastal areas of our country by providing access to good market, guarantee of minimum price and allowing them to maintain their activity and livelihood. Adoption of proper shrimp health management practices based on the principles of good aquaculture practice is the first step towards this direction. The growing demand of good high quality Indian shrimp has been increasing and the world today looks towards India to provide high quality export variety of shrimp products. The next decade would see Indian shrimp farming take the center stage across the world and the name synonymous with this change would be National Center for Sustainable Aquaculture, NAKSA Sustaining the aquaculture, sustaining the environment